We are kicking off the official Laredo Coffee Tour with our Foodie Friday Coffee Break segment right here at Borderland Espresso and Gifts. Let's go in and check out what's brewing. We're here with co-owner of Borderland Espresso and Gives, Al, and we want to thank you so much, Al, for allowing us to come into your establishment this morning. Now, tell us, when someone first walks into Borderland, what's your signature drink? What should they be ordering when they come in? Well, we are known for our Border Blender, which is like our version of a blended coffee. Uh, bigger companies have a, their own copywritten name for it, so we've given ours, but our Border Blender is definitely our signature drink. However, that's not always what everybody wants, um, and it's our job to give the customer what they want, necessarily what we want to give them. So we have a huge list of alternative milks, decaf, regular, iced hot, you name it, we can make it for you. If you can dream it up, we can uh, we can make it. Very customized. Very customized. Okay, perfect. Well, what are we going to be making this morning? Well, I believe I heard somewhere that you were a big fan of hemp milk matcha. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> I am. I and am. you like it a, a little heavy on the foam? I'm very frothy. Yes, <laughs> yes you that. are. I love it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, show us how it's done. Yeah, okay. So the first thing that we're going to get going with the uh, uh, matcha is we're actually going to start with our uh, milk preparation, which in this case we're going to be using hemp milk. We are really proud of the fact and are really happy to offer hemp milk to the community. It is the most sustainable of all plant-based milks. Unlike almond milk and oat milk, it does not cause droughts in the regions in which these are grown. And so we are happy to offer it. It's also really high in natural proteins and omega-3s. It does come from the hemp plant, which is cousins to the marijuana plant. It is not the same plant. I get a lot of questions on whether or not people are gonna fail their drug tests, and I assure you, you will not. There are no, There is no CBD, THC, or Delta-8 in hemp milk. You know, while you're making this, Al, tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind the decor here at Borderland. It's absolutely eclectic. Where do all these unique pieces come from? Most of what you see here is purchased secondhand, which we're also big thrifters. And um, most of it from uh, the flea markets uh, around um, Laredo and around uh, Rio Grande Valley area. How would you describe your style here? What's the, when someone says describe Borderland, how do you describe it? Because you certainly have pieces um, for sale and just art that that is, has never been seen before. And a lot of it expresses what people are thinking, but they just don't say. <laughs> so I like to think that uh, we want everybody to be comfortable with who they are. We don't dictate behavior here. There's a lot of places you walk into and you can just tell by the vibe how they want you to act. We just want you to be yourself and be okay with who you are. And we welcome everybody and um, we just want people to feel comfortable coming in here. And yeah, a lot of the things as far as uh, <laughs> the things on the mugs, I've been guilty my whole life of saying what everybody else is thinking. So um, I guess those are kind of a reflection of yeah. my sense of humor, but. Is it done? It is done. You always put a different sticker to block the little hole right here. And I think that's really creative. So matcha time. Perfect. And that does it for this segment of Foodie Friday Coffee Break. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.